Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to animate something kind of bouncing in into your scene with Swift and Xcode. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Stop coming up with pop-ups. First, let's hop on into Xcode and create a new Xcode project. This is going to be a single view application. Click next. And our product name, I am just going to call mine Bounce. Our language will be set to Swift and our devices will be set to iPhone. Click next and create. Now let's make this a bit bigger. Allow. Okay, let's make this a bit bigger. Head over to our main.storyboard. And inside of our main.storyboard, the first thing we want to do is just add a button. So go ahead, click and drag a button onto our scene. And this is the button that we are going to actually make bounce. So let's go ahead, right click or control click and drag from this button over to our scene. And we're gonna make him center horizontally in the container and center vertically in the container. And that, that's basically all we want to do with the button. Now let's go ahead, hop on into our viewcontroller.swift. Now inside of our viewcontroller.swift, inside of our view did load, we want to say UI view dot animate with duration. So we want to animate something. So we're going to animate with duration, duration, delay, using spring with damping. So be sure to click that or tab that all in. And inside of this, we, our duration, we're going to set this equal to one second or however long you want it to be. Our delay, we want this to happen immediately, so I'm going to set that to zero. Using spring with damping. The damping basically means, imagine there's a marshmallow. So when the marshmallow comes and there's a spring coming at the marshmallow, the marshmallow is going to slow down the spring up into an ease in a position. So I'm going to set this using spring with damping just equal to 1.0 seconds. You can play around this with this value to see what kind of results you get, but I'm going to set that to one second. Initial spring velocity, I will set this to 5, although we will play with around with this number a bit later. And options, we're going to make this equal to nil. And animations, we're going to say open parentheses, close parentheses, and then inside of this say open curly bracket, enter, and close curly bracket. And then completion, we will say nil lowercase nil. Now you shouldn't have any errors, so now that we have no errors, let's hop on into our main.storyboard and go over to our assistant editor and right click or control click and drag from this button right over here over to our viewcontroller.swift. We are going to insert this as an outlet and just call the name of this button, button, btn. Now our button is just going to go into our view did load. And first thing we need to do is, as you can see, our button is loaded up in the center of the screen. So we need to make the make it offset over to the side of the screen. So we can easily do this by just saying button.center.x will be equal to our self.view.frame.width and we will make this plus 30, just so it's 30 pixels off the side of the width. And then down here in our animate with duration, we wanna say button.center.x will be equal to self.view dot frame dot width divided by two. So we are setting it exactly in the middle of the scene. So now let's go ahead, build and run, and we should see an easing in of our button. Now we also have this error that just came up. It says reference to property btn enclosure requires explicit self dot. Basically this means we need to say self dot button dot center as we reference this inside of a UI view, which means that we kind of have to create new variables or we either call a variable by saying, by calling it exactly from our view controller, UI view controller. That is exactly what this self.button.center.x means. So if you were referencing anything outside of your UI view .anime with iteration, you will have to put self in front of that. So let's go ahead, build and run. So as you can see, it's going to build and run, but the button just appears on there. So let's go ahead, play around with some of these numbers and say using spring with damping, uh, our initial spring velocity, we will now set this equal to, we'll say 1.0 second, 1.0 as our velocity. And if we were to build and run this, and now we get kind of an ease into it. We don't get such a sudden thing happening. Now let's go ahead, play around with this number a bit more. We can set this to, we'll say six. And you still get a nicer ease in, but it's a little bit faster. And now if you wanted it to bounce back, you can play around with this number, but basically it's, you want it to be really fast in order for it to go back and then forth, like so. So you're gonna get this nice little animation of it going past the scene and then back into its position that it's supposed to be in. And of course, you can always go back to your UI view.animate with duration and change the duration of this to like four seconds, we'll say. 
And now we'll have a very slow ease in, but we'll still have the initial spring velocity and everything happening still. So there you have it. It just kind of eases in. Again, play around with the numbers, get something that you like. But that is how you use UIView.anime with duration using a spring velocity. Now, of course, if you want to make several objects go into the scene, you can do this by simply adding a label, we'll say. Just showing you this, uh, this does the same thing with different objects. So let's go ahead, add the label. We'll set this up to our viewcontroller.swift, and this will be an outlet, and we'll call this label connect. And if you want it to be a different animation, you can say, just add this right in here, and we'll say animate with duration. We'll make this two seconds versus one seconds up here. And instead of self.button.center.x, you will make this self.label.center.x equal to our self.view.frame.width divided by two. And then again, we can take this label up here and we can say label.center.x will be equal to, and we'll just basically place it in the same place, like so. And we can build and run this. And this equal sign and the self should not be mixed together. Now let's go ahead, build and run. And you will see a different kind of bouncing thing happening along with each of these labels and buttons. Now, as you can see, the label was a bit offset. So again, we need to go back to our label on our main.storyboard and right click or control click and drag from the label and say center horizontally in container and center vertically in container. We're just adding constraints to this so it automatically does it in the proper place. So now we have our button and our label. And again, you can adjust the initial spring velocity or the using spring with damping. You can change the amount of damping that goes on. So if I were to move this to like five, you will see a lot more damping and you won't get so much of a bounce effect. And of course you can do this with a UI image view, but I'm not gonna show you how to do that as I think you should get the general gist of how everything works. So yeah, just basically play around with these numbers and you'll get something that you like. That's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.